Call me a doctor, Mike, because bear with me. We will get through these videos. I just need to s just, you know, stop being distracted and procrastinating and stuff. And then just do it. And then, let's see here. Welcome to Pack of Elham and another pack collection video. It is time to walk down memory lane. I'll explain the jokes and shenanigans of Bible After Life Season 2, which is a for It's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. The basic concept of Bible After Life is that I watch an episode of the Trolled series by DHGR and make predictions about it. If you're drawing predictions, you get a bean boozled jelly bean, a joker shenanigan, and anything that I find to really make this series priceless, which occurs to me to make Bible After Life Season 2 filled with even more jokes and shenanigans than the first one. It could be a little joke that I made, clever editing that I did, something funny in the background. Or something that is completely irrelevant to the basic concept of I have to lie. There are many such types of jokes and shenanigans in D.J. Gerard's videos and live streams, but they will not be included here if I did not add anything significant of my own to them. And I'll show the after black things in their own video. If you want to control some of my shenanigans for Abel After Life Season 3, Episode 4, and possibly beyond if I decide to do so, submit a response to my ice switches form. If anybody has submitted any responses, you can see them in my ice switch switches spreadsheet. Now, in the previous video, I explained the ice witches in detail. I mean, that's where I first introduced them, and then... Yeah. And you can see I submitted one of my own. Well, actually two. Alright, episode... Four. Okay, I'm off the lie. Season 2, episode 4. Don't trust. Part 3. I'm Dave again. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Pack of Valham and another episode of the Trolled Sphere. No, wait. I'm not wearing a blue shirt. I'm wearing a yellow shirt. And my pack of fun is it. Well, just part black. Yeah, that's black up there. Okay, another part of... Hi, I'm wearing a red shirt. Anyway, um... I positioned my face cam to make it look like I'm in Dave's place. Since Dave was wearing a blue shirt, it looked like I was wearing a blue shirt. It also looked like I was speaking into Dave's microphone. The Trolled series belongs to DGR, but the I Beloved Life series belongs to Pac Valham, but incorporates the Trolled series. Highlighted intro. Episode of the I Belong to Life series. Series where it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. Now I call it that because I borrowed a clip from the previous part of the episode. I slowed it down so that the highlighting lined up with me saying, It's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. And I cut it so that it appeared when I first said, I will have to lie, in the video. I then briefly explained why I call it that. Dave says, we are continually showing it can be a lot of fun to look like an idiot in most intros of the Trolls series. Editor me spliced in a clip of Dave saying that in the current episode of the Trolls series. As Dave says, the Trolls series is a lot of fun to look like an idiot, in it? A lot of fun to look like an idiot. Okay. The... New music again? You do whatever you want with background music. I don't care. I'm not putting any challenge or anything. You do whatever music you want. Added to me, it wasn't sure if. Like, 
editor me wasn't sure if recorded me still required new music as I did in the previous part. I did not keep that requirement. Of course, I planned that joke while recording because recorded me comes before editor me. Spinner fell on the floor. Either I'm about to taste birthday cake, or I get to find out what dirty dish water tastes like. The spinner fell on the floor. That's alright. Uh, okay. uh, this Chris, is a. Do you not know how this works? No. This is a mildly funny moment. I started back here because I think it sets up the mildly funny moment well. There is not much to explain here. The spender fell on the floor and it was mildly funny. I thought about naming this explanation Spinner with his crazy explanations. And I will explain the context after the next explanation. <laughs> Spinner with his crazy explanations. Forest reversal. To actually make it worse? I don't know. Well, now I know what dirty dish water tastes like. Okay, birthday cake. It's what I eat at a birthday party. Really? This is another piece of music that I reversed in I Beloved Life Season 2. I had played it normally in the previous part, and I played it again normally in this video before I reversed it. Forest Night is very beautiful and majestic. Its beauty and majesty don't seem to be lost in its reversal. Superintendent Chalmers. Well, now I know what dirty dish water tastes like. Okay, birthday cake. It's what I eat at a birthday party. Really? Well, I did. Well, so far I haven't eaten any of the cake. I just, you know, after the party, yeah. after, you know, after after everybody eats and after everybody leaves, you know. Uh -huh. well, well, first we eat, and then there's dirty dishes. Unless we have paper plates. Really? Uh -huh. But this party we used reusable plates, washable plates. Everybody left. I didn't need any cake for some reason, but instead I just took a cup. And, you know, we're washing, we're washing the dishes in the sink, or I somehow get the water from the dishwashing machine. I don't know. And. Obviously, at a real party, I would eat some cake, but I would not drink okay, dish water. Okay. I should. I should. Okay. Recorded me <clears throat> made a joke about me being at a birthday party and not eating any of the cake, but I took a swig, my words, not his, of the dirty dish water. Some parts of it were obvious and some parts of it were not brief. Editor me had been watching too many steamed hams videos, which is implied by that text screen. Maybe recorded me had been too, but I didn't mention it. I inserted some of Superintendent Chalmers' reactions to Principal Skinner's lies because they work well as reactions to me trying to tell that joke. When I tasted the soap, I said some obvious things. Editor B inserted Chalmers saying, really, again, but cut it off short. Oh, oh, there is a soapy aftertaste. That tastes soapy, which makes sense because you use soap when washing dishes or anything. Really? Soap is one of the flavors on the Birdie Bots, every flavor. I've never tasted any of the Harry Potter Birdie Bots beans. Instead of me explaining the steamed ham skit to you, I will link to a video that may have inspired this sub-series of pack collection. That video is by JJ McCullough, and he explained every part of steamed ham. But I avoided it the first time. Well, if you want, if I'm about to read the explanation for that, so if, you, if you're curious, you can listen now. I guess Dave was complaining and I mocked it. I detached the audio, duplicated it, and pitch shifted 
one of them up an octave, which is up by 12. I added a shake effect to the video. Oh, oh, chordification. Oh, 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 oh. Listen. Okay. Let, okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. In the door, do not wait, because there's a fish coming for our face. I rewound the video to hear Dave try to speak again. This time, I quarterfied it, as you know I like to do. I didn't do it the first time. Well, let's go back there so you can see that. Again. What thing delay I've ever... I'm trying to speak again. Here, what... Well, have that the longest? It... Listen. Okay. Let, okay. Here we go. In the door, do not wait, because there's a fish coming for our face. Oh, 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 how, oh. Listen. Uh, quartification. Uh, uh, that's obvious. Beat. I said, uh, I inserted a second of black. I quartified my, uh, I inserted a second second of black. Rising hmm. I'm predicting one. I said hmm. Editor me duplicated it and increased the pitch up by two each time, leaving the first at zero and setting the fourth to six. Since my hmm was in C sharp, the other notes are D sharp, F, and G. Under 13. Editor me, if you can, try to get this point in under 13 minutes. If you can. Okay, with. For many of the videos, I make cuts to reduce the duration of the video, which I'm hardly going for the explanation of the videos, but anyway, let's go back to reading this. Most of the things that are cut out are just lengths of silence when I'm not doing anything, or insignificant parts of things that are taking a long time. Since I saw that I had been recording for a little over 15 minutes, I wanted editor me to cut it so that the duration until a specific point in the final video is under 13 minutes which means more than two minutes total of the recording is cut out. I succeeded, so I put the text done on the screen. Interestingly enough, that is the last, you know, Shuka shenanigan, or at least that's the one I recorded here, that is before 13 minutes. So, that's interesting. I had not noticed that before. None, no more. Okay, out of all the things that I've eaten. Did you see that? Okay. It, that changed. Alright, there's a bar. The third dish bar. I just clicked and double clicked on the cell and the text in it disappeared. Fortunately, it was just the word none. I just tested it. Well, I was typing this. And double clicking a cell that has text in it does not get rid of the text. I am unable to reproduce this bug. And now, this is the first shenanigan the video here related to this particular background music. This specific one. Louder ears. This next pizzicato plucked part of the orchestral music is quieter, so I increased the volume until the arco bowed strings came back. So I actually have a filing here. So if plucking the string that's pizzicato and if using the bow, it's called arco. 
Soon fart. Stinky. I don't want to say too much about the music. It is called The Ears of the Beholder, and I composed it. If some of it sounds familiar, then I'll tell you that it interpolates parts of other works. Interpolates? Yeah. Include something else within it. Yeah, that's interpolate. Like, in, or like, in, inside, so interpolate. So, creative work borrows a part of another work inside of it. it's interpolation. Yeah. Let's see, there are 15 other works, and I want listeners to identify as many as they can. There are parts of The Ears of the Beholder that I want to modify, which I'll do in I Belong to Life Season 3. I'll do it in the last video, the absolute last video, the same video that I will reveal the Easter eggs. Like, actual pictures of Easter eggs in the first episode. So I'll... I think it was three videos. I will also reveal the other works then, because it's hard to make the modifications without revealing some of the other works, so I might as well reveal them all. Anyway, MuseScore can't make the bassoon loud enough, so Editor B cut around it and increased volume and EQ, which made it too loud. As you can see by my reaction, it was like, like that. It's, uh... Something somewhere somebody was making. Oh, I think it was. Maybe it was the Drake and Josh movie. Maybe it was. Or Drake was performing with his band, and I don't mean Drake the rapper. I mean Drake from Drake and Josh was playing. And there's one guy in the. They were in a, like a retirement home or something, and. There's one guy say too loud. You're playing too loud. And even when they were like really quiet, the guy was still saying too loud. That just suddenly popped into my brain. So yeah. Don't talk with your mouth full. Okay. Could you wait until I double click, not single click, to make it full screen? Thank you. Well, that just happens to be where I paused that video and I made that prediction. I did just that. I had the stinky socks bean, which I made a prediction for in my mouth. That's right. There is a valid prediction that is not for the trolled episode. It's for my bean from the previous incorrect prediction. It was kind of hard to understand what I said, so editor me, editor me put text on the screen that says what I said, including when I said dat instead of that. My silly brother is coming up next. <laughs> there he is. Ryan mixing up channels. That's my smart sign? No. Yep. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to Pac-Man here. But I think it's obviously his other channel. This is my, my smart sign. It seemed like the stinky socks had a little bit of barf, like in the background. Why'd you barf in your sock? I don't understand. Uh, background. Uh, Ryan insisted that this is my smart side and that my other channel is Pac Valham, but this is Pac Valham and my second channel is my smart side. 
Then, Ryan pointed when he mentioned my channels. So I put my profile pictures on the screen where he pointed. The one for Pac Valham was on the screen when he mentioned it, and likewise for my smart side. Barf in my sock! It seemed like your stinky socks had a little bit of barf, like in the background. Why'd you barf in your sock? I don't understand this kid. I couldn't find a trash can or anything nearby. Goodbye. I said that the stinky socks had a little bit of a barf taste. Ryan made a joke about him not understanding why I barfed in my sock, and I joked back that I couldn't find a trash can or anything. However, if I were in that situation, as in I need to barf but I can't find a trash can, would I do it into a sock? Bird clock outro. If you're a genius, click the subscribe buttons. You will see me next time. Until then, take care. How many times have that played during I Will Have to Lie? Or I guess any video. I don't know. The bird clock chirped during my outro. I pointed to it as I finished my outro. I asked how many times it played during I Belove to Light or any video. I don't know about any video, but well, I don't know about any video, but since I'm logging every time I notice it chirp in I Belove to Light, I can tell you that it has chirped 12 times until this point and 5 times in the future, totaling 17 times the bird clock chirped in I Belove to Light. I have a really long after black thing here, and it's this. This is why. Did that? That's the main reason, but also maybe the superintendent Chong thing. Well, that was because of steam hams and watching so many steam hams videos. But I mean, that's a smaller part. But yeah, that, this title mostly came from here. Whenever I make that. I have the Loft to Lie After Black video. Oh, yeah. You know, that'll be there. Okay. Okay, there is a lot in the next video, which is, uh, yeah, that one, including, uh, why did I put... Madam Gasket saying chop chop on there. Why do I have Pat say Jack and Pat Neely and a bunch of other people named Pat appearing on the screen? Why, um, um, wait, um, wait, um, wait. <laughs> that was, uh, Funky box up by Cover Cloud Bounce. Not really, but. Not really. Okay, there's a really short explanation, which is barely anything. I mean, apparently it was worth putting in there, but it was just uh, like little mouth sound, but. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Not only am I drawing the explanations, but... I think I... instructed myself to actually... make something that... I mean, I want to make at some point, but I'm... Um, <laughs> yeah, that's going to take some amount of time to make, so 
in addition to all the reading the jokes and shenanigans in the video, you know. So anyway, I'm just gonna wrap this up here. Thank you for watching. If you're smart, click the like button. If you're genius, click the subscribe button. You'll see me next time. Until then, my friends, take care. Huh, look at that. <laughs> One of the shenanigans is called too many shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. There are too many shenanigans. Earlier in this, in this video, I said that I watched too many Steam Hams videos, and well, I'm gonna prove it by doing a Steam Hams from Memory speed run. So I'm not gonna look at any Steam Hams thing. I just did because this, but well, this is not my first take. This is, this is what is the third? I fumbled, and so I just watched it on two times speed, just to work out the kinks. So. But I'm not going to look at any steam hams while reciting it here as fast as I can from memory. Okay. Also, got a little breathless while I was doing it, so let's see how well I can do with that. Ding dong. Well, see more. I made it despite your directions, all stupid. And Chalmers, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable engine. Yeah. Oh, we got some iris is ruined. But what if I were to purchase fast food and it's as, as my own cooking? Ho oh, oh. ho. Delicious, delish, see more. <laughs> Scanner with crazy explanations. Super Dan is gonna need need his medication. When you hear Scanner's name, exaggerations, there'll be trouble in town tonight. See more. Super Dan, I was just, uh, just trashing my calves in the window, so I'll awesome check exercise. Care to join me? Why is this book coming under Revan? See more. Oh, that isn't spoke. It's steam. Steam from the steam clams are happening. Mmm, steam clams. Ooh, bum bum, do 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 bum bum bum. Superintendent, I hope you're ready for mouth running hamburgers. I thought we were having steamed clams. Oh no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. You call hamburgers steamed hams. Yes, it's a regional dialect. Uh huh. What region? Upstate New York. Really? Well, I'm from Utica and I've never heard anyone use the phrase steamed hams. Oh, not in Utica. No, it's an obvious expression. I see. You know, these hamburgers are quite similar to the ones they have at Krusty Burger. Oh no. Patented Skinner Burger is old family recipe for steamed hams. Yes, yes, they call them steamed hams despite the fact they're obviously grilled. You, you know, one thing I should. Excuse me for a second, of course. No, that was wonderful. Good time was I by all. I'm pooped. Yes, I should be. Good lord, what's happening in there? Aurora Borealis? No, Aurora Borealis, at this time of year, at this time of day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. Yes, may I see it? No. Seymour, the house is on fire. No more than just the northern lights. Well, Seymour, you're not fellow, but I must say, you see, I'm good ham. Help, help! No, no. I did not forget the fire truck. So, okay. Better to me should time the actual steam hams. See how quickly I did that.